Welcome to Educational Articles from CosmicNova.com. My name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Today's video is on top 10 most common interview questions and answers. As usual, a link to this article will be in the description box below. So if you or your friend are looking for a job or interviewing for a job, you need to know about these questions because they will be asked during an interview. So you gotta be ready for this, guys, right? I've specifically made this video for mobile version, for mobile version, mobile version definitely, but for mobile phones. So that if you go to full screen on a mobile phone, you can view this video perfectly in the portrait mode specifically designed for that. So if you are applying for a new job and interviewing for a new job, you can literally park in front of the place that you're going to walk inside of and watch this video before you go inside. This is why I'm making this specifically for mobile. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to it. These are top 10 most common interview questions and answers. And again, the link will be in the description box below so that you guys can check it out. Um, this video is based off my uh, YouTube video that I've made about a few months ago exactly about this. This is just a written version of it. So if you want to go there, if you want to go read this article and play this video here, this YouTube video that's already made, and follow along, that's fine too, or you can just watch this video. Anyways, without uh, any more delay, let's get to it. Can you tell me about yourself? That's the question number one. This is the most likely first question you will get during an interview and it should be answered in such manner where it describes you as the best candidate for this position. Talk about yourself and previous experiences related to this position. Provide any information possible about yourself that could potentially lead the interview, meaning that anything you say at this point can instigate questions tailored to your experience. Not only could this give you a chance to lead on follow-up questions, but it could also mean the difference between between getting this job or not, right? Question number two, what are some of your weaknesses and strengths? A lot of people struggle on this question. To answer this properly, you need to be honest and provide an example of each so that it relates with the position at hand. This question is intended to probe for personal flaws and red flags. For example, my weakness is that I get nervous speaking in front of a group, but have been practicing to improve upon myself. As you can see, you might want to mention something that's a minor issue, if possible, but that you are working on it, that you're getting better at whatever the weakness uh, that you might have is, right? Everybody's got a weakness of some sort. You can't say, I don't have any weaknesses. Very important. My strength is in being dependable team player and I have the ability to communicate my ideas in a manner that benefits the company, right? So you want to, strengths are pretty easy to mention, but the most important is the weakness. A lot of people don't want to admit their weaknesses, but you do have them. We all have weaknesses. Moving on, question number three. How, do you, how did you hear about this position, right? For this, Answer, you need to show some passion and excitement in describing the manner at which you found out about this job position. Whether, whether your friend works for the company or you found out about it online, show some enthusiasm that led you to apply for this position and reason why. You want to show this employer that you're excited about this position, right? You want, you want them to know that you're super interested, very important. Question number four, why do you want to work for our company? This question is intentionally positioned after how did you hear about this position question in order to make it easier to understand. Describe that you've done some research and provide a good reason why you are interested in working for them. You could say that in comparison to other companies, you found that this one is a good fit for you. Question number five, what do you know about this company? Leading in from previous question, provide all the knowledge you have about this company. Ahead of the interview, you should have at least minimum information about the company as their potential future employee. Very important. Employer wants to know that you know about something about this company and that you're excited about working for this company. Question number six, 
Tell me about a conflict or challenge you found yourself in and how you dealt with it, right? If you choose to provide an answer of conflict, make sure that you provide information that led to resolution of conflict in a professional manner. So, if someone was angry with you, you could say that you remained calm and resolved the issue in a civil manner at which, at which both parties were happy with the result. Incredibly important. If you're providing an example of a challenge, describe the manner at which you stayed organized and on point that led to successful completion. Question number seven. What are your goals? Provide an answer with short-term goals that pertain to this position. The reason for that is you can't give a future prediction when it comes to your goals. The only thing you can answer is something that's in front of you. For example, you could say that you're looking to get a job with a company that will provide you with opportunities that you could grow from as a person or a professional, right? Do not speak of goals that are not relevant to this job. Very important. Question number eight, why did you leave or why are you leaving your current job? Now, be careful with this one, because in this case, you may have to resort to a white lie, meaning that you may have to lie in order to get this job. Because if you mention a reason to why you have been let go, uh, and that even if it's a minor reason, you may uh, put yourself in a position that this employer might consider that a good reason as well and although it may not be right this is just the reality of it if you're without a job at the moment mention that the reason why in a positive light you can say the reason why you left was because of downsizing or budget cuts right that's one of the reasons that's a couple of reasons you can mention to why you left the company if currently employed, you can say that you are trying to expand your experience or that you're looking for a new challenges. That you're looking for new challenges, right? Don't talk about money at this point unless asked in addition. Question number nine. How much are you, how much are you looking to make in this position? This can be a tough question, but come prepared by researching the current salary ranges for this job. You could say that a fair offer would be considered, and at this point you could ask for going rates. Chances are that if you get asked this question, that you are being considered for this job, right? So this is incredibly important. You wouldn't be asked this question if you weren't considered for a job, right? Question number 10, why should we hire you? This is your last chance to sell yourself to this company. Provide everything you can think of that will convince this potential employer, employer to hire you. Talk about your strengths, your extensive experience, and the best reason why you are the perfect candidate for, the, for them, right? So here's the thing. When asked why should we hire you as the last thing, you want to mention the best, the, the best aspects of you, right? Specifically related to this position. If you have experience that is specifically related to this position. You want to stress that, meaning you have to mention it over and over again so that w that way this employer, potential employer, can have a really good idea of why they should hire you and why you are the best candidate for them, right? If you are straight out of college, if you're new to the workforce or anything like that, yes, you can talk about your education, but talk about um, some uh, qualifications that are specifically related to this job, special training, um, successes in, in, um, in education, certificates, anything that might be related to this. So that way you have the, the highest chance of getting this job, guys. Okay. Again, link to this article is in the description box below if you want to check it out. Uh, tell your friends about it because this is important. If they don't know about this, they won't get that job. You won't get this job. And uh, now you're ready. So there you go. Have a good one. Best of luck to you guys. Bye-bye.